Hi everybody, uh, this is Jay, and I'm going to give you a little bit of help, or I'm going to try to, as far as if you plan on taking a trip to Mexico, in particular the Baja, uh, that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. Now, you don't need a Mexican visa to travel to Mexico as a tourist if you are from the United States or Canada. However, you do need a Mexican tourist permit. It used to be called a FMT, but now it's called an FMM, a Forma Migratoria Multiple. If you visit for seven days or less, there's no charge for this FMM, but for more than seven days, up to 180 days, a fee is charged. I just paid uh, 500 pesos, which is about $25 for a permit, but again, that's good for 180 days. If you're going to pay for the permit, go ahead and get it for the 180 days. You don't have to turn it in or nothing else, but why get it for 30 days if you can get six months for the same price? So go ahead and get it for the 180 days. Now, you don't have to have this uh, tourist permit to travel what they call the the border zone and that's about 20 to 30 kilometers from the border which is about 12 to 19 miles so if you're just going to be going in the little border towns then you, you don't have to have one of these permits now along with this permit you are required to have your passport to to accompany your FMM so it's best to keep all those documents together now, if you plan on driving into Mexico, you're also going to need what they call a temporary importation permit. It's otherwise known as a TIP. Uh, for the video here, we're going to call it a vehicle permit. And this is the reason you got to have this. It, they want to make sure uh, that you don't sell or give away your vehicle in Mexico. And there's a charge for this uh, TIP but it's, it's really not a charge it's uh, actually a refundable deposit and you can purchase all these documents online uh, now I'm going to show you first of all the the uh, tourist permit uh, it would be look just like that you can get that at the border uh, it takes about 30 minutes to get all the paperwork filled out pay them the money and all that so you want to be sure to get that if you're going to be going more than the uh, uh, 20 to 30 kilometers in it's, it's a required thing now the uh, the vehicle permit is required for not all of Mexico there are some exempt places and I'm going to try to get the paperwork up here uh, okay, right there, the uh, the dark blue a permit is not required. The light blue it is, and basically, uh, it a permit's not required. A, a temporary or a, 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 a temporary import permit is not required for traveling any of the Baja Peninsula, none of it. You can go all the way down to Cabo San Lucas without a permit. And there's parts of Sonora, like as far south as Puerto Penasco, uh, which is Rocky Point, you're not required. This map here right here will show you the dark blue is the, what they call, and the Mexican officials call it the no-hassle zone. Uh, everything in light blue requires the temporary import permit again that's a refundable deposit once you get it before you leave Mexico you got to check out and it's a sticker that's in your window they'll scan it and put it in the computer and you get a refund more than likely everybody that gets this they put it on a credit card so you just get a, a cancellation on that fee now I wasn't sure about all this because uh, I don't know for it's been a week more uh, that I've been online and everything else to find out 
All I find out is a bunch of conflicting, out-of-date information. Uh, I've called numerous Mexican consulates. Uh, I talked to the Mexican officials at the border, more places than one, and more points of entry than one. Finally, I contacted a, a reputable company, and what they do is they sell Mexican insurance. And I didn't ask their permission to give their name, so I won't. But however, they explained to me that in order for them to honor any claim, that they require proof that the insured possessed a TIP at the time of the incident. And the only exception was if the incident occurred in the free zone, the no hassle zone, the dark blue there on the map. Uh, and they referred it, like I said, to the no hassle zone. Baja, California and parts of Sonora, south to Rocky Point. You don't have to have your temporary import permit for those particular areas. Now, this information that I'm giving you is, is very current. Uh, as of uh, February 22nd, 2017. So I hope this video helps you out a little bit, saves you some time from looking around. Keep in mind that everything changes all the time. So if you plan on traveling to Mexico, try to get as up-to-date information as you can. That'll avoid you unnecessary delays. And uh, I just want to wish you good luck in all your adventures. And uh, again, this is Jay, and bye for now.